Thomas, did you hear? Did you hear? Hear what? Hear what? That the Pope is coming. I'm still not clear. Wait, and what's that drumming? Hey, man, clear your ears. I said the Pope is coming. No way. Is that true? It's true. But who? Who said it? No, who is the Pope? The Pope is the leader of the Holy See and the Catholic Church at large. He has a sacred appointment, a solemn anointment to be the man in charge. He lives in the Vatican. The what again? The Vatican, a city up in Rome. But in just a few days, he's landing here on this island we call home. Well, why? Why? Why is he coming? No, why do we have a Pope? I mean, isn't God our leader, our refuge, and our hope? Of course, God ultimately leads us, his flock, but he instituted the papacy when he said, on this rock I will build my church. This rock? He was talking to a rock? He was talking to St. Peter. Peter was a rock? No, he was a man and our church's very first leader. And since that day, the office of the Pope has been passed down through the years. Over 2,000 years of history that brought us all the way here. And now, you're telling me the Pope is coming to town? That's right, he's come from across the globe and is making his way around. It's bringing us all together, no matter where we're from. Yeah, bringing us all together. Like a kind of binder, a strong reminder that we are one people, one family in the Lord. And if we're united, we can bring hope to the world. Let his love complete you. Oh, nothing can defeat you if you live the love of God. 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 Live, love, live the love of God.